airplane seats like like uh wait is oh no it's like never mind wait 4c 4c because you know the seat numbers right okay no that doesn't work okay so i need to cast cameron poe his daughter yeah casey poe how old was she in that movie do you think uh well the actress was born in 89 and that movie came out in in what 96 so she would have been eight eight years old imogen poots that's it i'm taking imogen poots yeah she could be monica potter's daughter yeah and she has an alabama accent (laughs) there you go all right so imogen poots in action star mode is gonna battle cyrus's daughter cyrus's daughter oh man cyrus's daughter who would be really good in this okay um so he has to battle cyrus's daughter allison brie (laughs) no 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 (laughs) no from the hunt from the hunt uh oh from uh and glow yeah well peggy betty gilpin Mm -hmm. betty gilpin okay okay that's better because she is awesome in the hunt, and she can pull off kind of weird and interesting. And then, so then we have the daughter of Willie Sims, or niece of Willie Sims. Yeah. Okay, so I'll cast. Let's see. Let's see. I'll I'll add um, <sighs> Willie Sims. Let me look him up real quick. I can do this. I just want to look him up. Willie Sims. Actually, this guy. Is in Expanse now. Ooh. <laughs> Let's see. And then he is played by... Who plays him in here? This is great podcasting, but I don't care. This is this is very important. <laughs> this is very, very, very... Googling things right now. Well, I need to know the actor. I want to know the actor's name. Con Air. Con Air. IMDb. All right. So, there I go. And then I'm going to go find Willie Sims. I have a potential name for you. No. <laughs> Just hard no. <laughs> it's okay. I'll say it anyway at some point. Who you got? No, I want to wait until you're All done right. with this. I just can't find Willie Sims on here. Where's he at? Oh, William. Nope. Let's see. Why is he so far down? He has a big role in this movie. Let's see. Uh, D, uh, Jose Zuniga. Where is he? All right, so he's from Honduras. Let's see. Honduras. Let's see. I kind of want to be as close to Honduras actor. All right, so I just want to get everything right here. Uh, all right. Well, whatever. I'm a huge fan of Bloodshot, so I'm going to say Isa Gonzalez. Okay. Right. One, right? Yeah, she's good. And she could be a marshal. Yeah. She's tough, she, too. She's in the Fast movies. Mm-hmm. Oh man, yeah. I've like act- I've actors from all my favorite roles here. This is pretty cool. All right, so we got that, and then we'll do the movie. It's a it's, so it's not Con Air, and it can't be Con Air Two. Right. You can't call it Daughter Air. No. Con Daughter Air. You 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 can call Flight. it whatever you want, except for Con Air Two, but it's your it's your choice. Kid Air. No, can't call it Sky High. Let's see. Uh, Poe Face. No, that doesn't work. Also, I want to let you know, like, I've picked out what I think is the perfect name, but I want to hear yours first. Daughter Flight? No. Because, you know, Con Air, Daughter Plane? Yeah, yeah I hear you. Coincidence? That'd be a good name. <laughs> uh, you know what? I don't care. I'm sticking with my original title because I think it's really funny. I'm going C4. I don't even know what it means, C4. but that's what it's called. Good. I'm doing that. C4. I would have called it The Bunny Trail. Oh... Or relative decision. Relative decision. It's all relative. And Seagal dies ah! at the very beginning of it. No, yeah, wait, no, st- yes, it's Seagal's one of his kids dies off early on in it. <laughs> it's all relative. It's all relative. That's, That's... good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing C4. I don't know, I like C4. it. And I just picture, like, uh, Poots on the poster with, like, a, a hunk of C4 in her hand. Even though it never happens in the movie. And a plane ticket that reads C4 on it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And for that's the plane, that's the way it's called. Like, I thought it was like, you know, 1A, 1B, 1C. Nah. Not not on this flight. Sister. Exactly. So it's C4, starring Imogen Poots, Isaac Gonzalez, 
and Betty Gilpin and who would play and Ellison Bree as the, Steven Seagal's daughter. Yeah. Wait, no, she's not even in that movie. <laughs> that makes no sense. Can wait, wait. John Cusack's daughter is on the ground chasing after it. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. All right, so who could play a like a very goofy, like a John no. Cusack esque person? Would, would this be better? And I'm open to discussion here. Um, would this be better if Cameron Poe was still alive? And no, Casey no. Poe was well, listen though, Mark. And Casey <laughs> Poe was coming coming home from college to his birthday. Wow. Oh. I said no so fast. <laughs> I just want I kinda want a jaded Poe though, where her dad's dead and she's just chewing dip on the plane. It's kinda like yeah. Mamma Mia, here we go again. And yeah, she's just spitting in the cups. Like I don't I don't want <laughs> I'm going home to see my daddy. Like I want right. my daddy's dead. Right. And then she fight on this while John Cusack's daughter is played by Justified and Booksmart. Oh, Caitlin Deaver. Yeah, and she's driving okay. around. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. Is she driving around in, in a 67 Corvette? Yes. Why not? Right. So then you just have that crew cruising around. I feel I, bad, though, for Imogen Poots fighting Betty Gilpin because that's not, yeah. it's not really a fair fight. No, but that's what that's what's going to... This is going to make it entertaining, Mark, is how you write around that. So C4. That's why you pay them the money to act around the script, Mark. I just want, I just want Poots holding the thing of C4 on the poster. And that's it. <laughs> just like put palm in it like a basketball pointing out, out at the poster. What do you would, think? Would, would the C4 be a chunk of C4? Would it be C4 pushed into a skull can? <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> A bunny timer. Yeah. Now we're getting into a 2000s comedy. Well, there's a little bit of skull <laughs> spit on it. How's that sound? Yeah. This is the greatest movie <laughs> ever made. Imagine that. Right. Oh, that'd be so good. <sighs> but then we got to put the, like, can we have a cast of characters like Speed on the plane that you remember? Like an Alan Ruck. Can we just put Alan Ruck on there? Mark, this is your, this is your movie. You do whatever you want. I just give you the concept. You cast whoever you want in it. I do want Ray Liotta and Lauren Hawley sitting in a seat in oh first class. Oh my gosh. That movie is kind of terrifying. Turbulence. Yes. He's so scary and you're stuck on the plane. Can Steven does, Seagal does be the Ray pilot? Liotta, does Ray Liotta ever play a likable character? Heartbreakers? Oh yeah. You Karina, do feel bad Karina? For him. Well, he's kind of a scumbag in that too. But then you begin yeah. to like him, right? Don't but he and Sigourney? You, you, well, you feel bad for him because he gets played, but he really loves her. Karina, Karina, yeah, but with Whoopi. Even yeah. even in those movies, I just don't trust him. <laughs> <laughs> he just has that look. I think he owes me money, and I've never met him. No, every every role I feel like was him just preparing to be in in the name of the king. Oh, mm. that role, that's so bad. <laughs> Can we get John Lithgow on the plane, and he just he's kind of going crazy, thinking that there's tr like goblins on the wing. There's something on the wing. <laughs> He yeah. sees trolls, gremlins on the plane. <laughs> He's just doing the Shatner bit. Yeah, there's something on the wing. So, Well, he played the Shatner bit in the Twilight Zone movie. Right. So you could have them seat by seat. Shatner and Lithgow arguing about what they see on the wing. And they're in 4C. Whoa. And, and you know who's behind them? Do you know what's under seat 4C? Oh, tell me it's a bunny rabbit. C4. Oh. Oh, Megan's little... face right there just just. <laughs> I liked the idea of the bunny rabbit. Yeah, but how would she remember? Because wasn't oh no, you're right. The bunny rabbit does come up in the play later. Yeah, we would have to give Ty Granderson Jones and Conrad good seats because they helped me out with the the Con Air seating chart. Right. Would Kevin Hart be on the plane? He would play Air Marshal Dinklage for sure. Yes, but he would get shot. So if he Not plays dead. Eric Marcel Dinklage, if he plays him, then we're saying Con Air and Fast and the Furious happen in the same universe. And that then, is totally fine with me. And then that means Madame N has a twin. Oh, well, that's fine. This world's getting crazy. I mean, we watched Crank 2 and a guy plays his dead twin. Yeah. His dead right. twin brothers. Yeah. Beautiful I films. would like to see Chief Miles O'Brien show up in a Fast and the Furious movie trying to replace his Corvette. Whoa. Cole Meany? Yeah, yeah, and so he's Cole Meany. He's an Irish actor, correct? Correct. 
So then we need Jesse Buckley, the star of Fargo, and she should win an Oscar this year. She was in Wild Rose, one of our favorite movies. Mm. She plays his daughter. I mean, yes. Her and Caitlin Deaver brawling? That'd be oh amazing. Gosh. They would just team up. Yeah, they're too cool. This is the best movie I've ever made in my life. I don't think right. we can top this. You know this uh, helicopter scene in Die Hard? They only had two hours to film it because all the neighbors were pissed off at them. Oof. Yeah, I did hear that. That <laughs> is hilarious. You know, most of the things in this movie were practical, except for the roof exploding. That was a miniature because they didn't want them exploding the roof. But the RV from the police that pulled up to the bottom of the building, they actually blew that up multiple times, and they blew all the windows out of one of the floors of the building. Wow. Right. They they messed up that Fox building. Yeah, no, they let them do it. So, he, but I'll, I'll say this, though, is that I recently watched Skyscraper. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Which, I'll say this, was way better than it had any right being. Like, it's... It's nonsense, but it's the rock and he's doing his rock thing and he's raising his eyebrow and doing that smile thing he does. And it's, you know, it's, it's, it is what it, it is what it is. We get some Neff Campbell time. Yeah. 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 Good, good jumps. But nothing felt visceral or organic. And this entire movie feels visceral or organic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like nothing. Yeah. You say, there, nothing feels artificial. Whereas. You don't buy into skyscraper because it's it's not a real building. Nothing's there's nothing real happening there. Whereas, you know, in Die Hard, you're like, yeah, everything looks uncomfortably real. Well, you make a great point. So, the Nakatomi Plaza building is a character in this movie. It is almost a living and breathing and changing character, as opposed to the one in Skyscraper, where it's, you know, it's kind of CG. It doesn't feel as real of a character as this movie does. Yeah, you say Nakatomi building, everyone knows what it is. Oh, yeah. And I'm sure if you're in L.A. and you see it, it's the Fox building, but you're like, that's the Nakatomi building. There's something going on in there right now. (laughs) There might be a heist for the vault. Ah, man. I feel like Brooklyn Nine-Nine watching that. But no, this, I'm I'm glad we, I'm glad you motivated me to do this, Adam. This is a perfect action film, and it's a perfect Christmas film. Yeah. It's perfect. I am so grateful, Adam, because Mark has been very focused on work articles and writing reviews and things, and I got to watch a Christmas movie multiple times, and that Christmas movie was Die Hard. Well, yeah. and that's the Christmas movie you want to watch, right? Like, that's the one. It, it puts me in the spirit. It's screener season, so I was having a hard time. Uh, I've been having a hard time watching Christmas. Well, it's, a, it's a good thing. I've been watching Oscar movies, but uh, yeah, yeah, I haven't had a chance to watch too many of this. So, hey, before we get out of here, I know you listening and you're going to go crazy, but I, I want to do something real quick. You, we're each gonna pick Mark, our. This is, this is the season for giving, so you just, yeah. just give it. It's we're great. each gonna pick our three favorite action films in a draft. You can't like if one's taken, it's off the board, and we're gonna put this up on Movie Films and Flicks Facebook, and you can vote on it. So this is spoiler rama, a ringer rama. You can pick whatever the heck you want. You can take however movies you want, but we're gonna take we're gonna do an, a classic tier one action movie draft. I'm going first. This okay, time. Megan, you get to go first. <laughs> Yes. Just, just, just spicy tonight. I like. Yeah. It. What do you got, Meg? Uh, hard boiled. Oh no! See, that's why I had to go first. That's one of the greatest action films oh, ever made. Oh, it's so memorable. All right, it's I'll. So great. Adam, you're up. We had to watch it on. What did we watch it on? Even YouTube. Okay, yeah, because we couldn't get a copy of it. Too expensive. <laughs> They're like a wow. hundred some dollars. Too much. Right. What do you got? Uh, T two. Oh man. Ooh, you just raised... So I gotta go big now. What? So this is Ringer-Rama. Any picks, anything, anything goes. Yeah. Anything goes. I'm gonna take... Uh, well, I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna take 13 Assassins. Oh, it's so good. Because right that's, now... Just, that's a good movie. It is on my list. Right now, just thinking about action films, I just... You know what's weird? I know there's movies that would get more votes than... Like, 100 to 1 votes over this. But I just can't not pick it. I love it too much. So No, and you got to follow your heart, Mark. Mm-hmm. Yep, I do. Uh, that's why I called it C4. You guys almost swayed me, but I'm sticking with sweet C4. But was it Canadian C4? It is. Okay, good. I love that. I'll tell you that in joke. So I, I did a uh, uh, movie about stuntmen one time who were trying to shoot a guy, uh, guy what, 20 miles across state line from a homemade jetpack. <laughs> and we, we accidentally blew up all of our C4. And so I, at the last minute, I got a bunch of really great Canadian C4, and I blended it with some Monster Energy drink, and we accomplished our stunt. 
That's incredible. Yeah, we'll have to share the link with you. It's a pretty good, pretty good bit. Absolutely. All right, what do you got, okay. Megan? I wouldn't be true to myself if I didn't pick this movie.